Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is another AliExpress haul. I've only done a little bit of crafting here and there, but I'm still shopping. <laughs> so, oh, and of course, she would like to say hello. <laughs> I don't know what it is. She just loves being in my videos. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with the stuff that's non-dye related. I'm going to start with these tiny little bows. I bought more because I am obsessed with these. These are like the perfect size for little embellishments. I have a craft with me video where I use some of these and I am just absolutely obsessed. So I needed to get more colors, of course. <laughs> so I got this mix here because I really like that teal blue. And then there's a really pretty lilac purple, which would be nice for pastelloween. I think there might be some purples in here. I can't open this. Maybe if I, oh, there you go. I, I swear to God, I could not find her. She was sleeping somewhere as soon as I turned on the camera. There she is. Okay. So here it has the yellow, the blue. Uh, there's a white. There's kind of like... Like an orange, I guess. Super pretty colors. There are no pinks in here from what I can see. Oh, I'm wrong. Hold on. Yes, there's a baby, baby, baby pink. Super pretty. Love, love. So, like I said, I am obsessed with these tiny little bows. So, this is a mix, as previously mentioned. And then, I grabbed these packs here. So, this one is like an iridescent lilac purple. And then, this one here is, a, is an iridescent pink. So pretty. I love these. And then the, this is the hot pink. Also iridescent. Okay. So now the rest of the stuff I have is dye related. And let me tell you, I got a lot of dyes. <laughs> so first I have this film. I have this frame set. And it comes with the oval as well as the rectangle. And the center cuts out as well. So they are frames. Which I thought would be great layering pieces if I just cut them out of gold foil. Uh, next I have these nesting snow globe dies. They come, you know, let me move these aside. <laughs> so... I have a lot of snow globe dies. A lot of them are, you know, this standard spherical globe. But this one is a little bit of a different shape, which I liked. So you have the base, you have the frame. Or I should say you have the base, you have the frame so that you can make shakers out of them as well. But they also come in different sizes, which is really nice. And it comes with this, I'm not sure, it looks like a banner of hearts and stars. I'm not sure if it's actually going to... I don't think they're going to cut out as banners. I think they might be individual. And it also comes in another different size. So I grabbed both of them. And as usual, I will be putting pictures in the corner so that you can see what they look like because I haven't had a chance to cut them out. So next I have a nautical set. I really like this rope here. I thought that was really cool something different I haven't seen in any other sets but it does come with a number of different dyes so it comes with the lifesaver uh, pieces of the boat I think you got a dolphin you got a whale a leaf you can make a cocktail that's awesome there's some waves in here which could come in handy if you're doing like a mermaid project you got some heart sunglasses so there's all kinds of different dyes which was nice Next, I have this really cool tree. So this one is different from any other tree dye that I've seen because it comes with the branches, but then it also comes with this layering piece as well to, to kind of look like the foliage of the tree. So you can cut this out of pink, for example, if you want to make like a cherry blossom tree. I thought the tree itself was kind of spooky looking, so I was thinking more Halloween than anything, but you can certainly make it into a more luscious, you know, leafy tree <laughs> if you wanted to. 
It also comes with two watering cans, which is a really cute size for embellishments. And then it comes with these pieces here, which I'm assuming is to be used on the tree for like extra branches. Next, I have this tattered leaf die set. And I thought of Halloween again, because look at them, they kind of look jagged and ragged. <laughs> and I love them. Super cool. Here I have something else I bought for Halloween. I thought that'd be cool for layering. And it's just got a bow, like a multi-loop bow. And then it has some stars on the end. And here is a layered rose die. I absolutely love layered roses. And so this one comes with three different pieces for the rose as well as three, oh no, sorry, four different pieces for the leaves. Next is an umbrella shaker die. And I think it's a shaker because this is the frame and I think, or I should say this is the base and I think this is the frame. And then they gave me a little chicky for a gift. This is a really simple heart banner die, but I thought it was so cute. It's got little bows on the end. Here's another layered rose die. Like I said, I love these. This one here is a little bit bigger. It comes with three pieces for the rose and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces for the different leaves. This is a super cool frame. So it comes with two pieces. The outside frame, I don't know if you can see, has tiny little spiders going all the way around, which I thought was really cool. And then the inside frame has this spider web and has this connected spider as well as this disconnected spider. And when I say disconnect is when you cut it out, it's gonna be separate from the frame but super cool die. This one is just a nesting rectangle die. It's got some little notches in the corner to kind of make it look a little bit more fancier. I love nesting dies such as these for cards mainly. So this one comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Here is a slim line envelope die. There's a major shadow for some reason. I don't know why. I'm so sorry, but I bought a lot of slim line card dies, but realized I didn't have any envelopes to house them. So I got this one. This one comes with a cute flap and some layering pieces as well. Here is a rose edged heart die. I mentioned previously, I love hearts. I will buy them all year round. This is such a cute, cute ghost die. It's so cute. So it comes with eyelashes, as you can see, it's a girl ghost. And there is a bow for her head. And then it comes with this big boo word. So I guess it goes this way. So from what I can see, the B O O is connected, but the exclamation mark is separate, but still a really nice size. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. So it's a little truck, as you can see. I bought it because of the ghosties. Look how cute those ghosties are. <laughs> I love these guys. I thought they would be perfect for embellishments. They also come with some tombstones, some jack-o'-lanterns, spider web, and then of course the layering pieces for the truck itself. I got these cute cherry dies. Look at these, they're so, so cute. They're two different kinds. One has like a crossed stem look and then this one is just the standard straight. And then it's got one cherry here for layering. So cute. Here is another umbrella die, but this one's a little bit more shabby, a little bit lacier. I thought this would be a cute layering piece. This is a new spiderweb die that I saw. I'm always looking out for Halloween dies, of course. And this one is a very wonky spiderweb. And I've mentioned previously, I love wonky spiderwebs. This one's really cool. It comes with different 
insects and arachnids. <laughs> so there are a couple of flies, a moth, and a spider. Sticking with Halloween, I grabbed this kind of lab set. So it comes with the mason jar and then it comes with the different elements you can put into the jar, which I thought was really cool if you wanted to make like a lab scene project. So it comes with the mason jar. I think I mentioned that. Um, I love the eyeballs. So cool. It's got a few bones. There's a snake or could be a worm. I guess you could go either way. There's a ghosty and there's a big skull and a hand. Super cool set. So next, it's really hard to tell which is why the picture will be here. It's a cute little scooter. So you can see here it comes with a number of different dies to put together this scooter. So there's quite a bit of paper piecing involved in this. I absolutely love paper piecing because I just love seeing the end result. But just so you know, lots of paper piecing. And then here we have some ladybugs. There are two kinds, one with the wings closed and one with the wings open. And they have ladybug bodies to accommodate that, which I thought was a really cool touch. Here I have some skulls. It's a set of three and I was thinking that I'm going to be using this for my next craft with me video for hashtag 13 collab. So stay tuned for that. Here is a super cute gingerbread person die. I love the gingerbread people that have this face. I used it for a Valentine's box and so this one is a different you know, it has different elements. So this one is wearing overalls and is holding a pinwheel. Super, super cute. I just love that little face. Next, I have a gumball machine die. So this actually comes with matching stamps. I didn't buy the stamps. I just thought that this would create a cute little gumball machine. It's got layering pieces. It's also got a smaller gumball machine in the corner here. But look, look at the detail on that. Super nice, and it's got some hearts here as well, I guess, to go into the gumball machine. This set of rickety fences I got for Halloween, of course. Um, well, I mean, there's three rickety fences. There's a rickety sign, there's a basket, and then there are less rickety fences and signs. Here is a nesting cloche, which I thought would be really cool for Halloween, of course, again. <laughs> and it comes with both the cloche and the stand. And it comes with a flower. So it's like a Dune of the Beast thing, almost. And lastly, I have this 3D suitcase die. It is so cute. It's a great size as well. And I think it'd be really cute to stick some goodies in and send us happy mail. Last thing I have to show you is not at all crafty related. It is a practical item. Thank you, Kelly, for the wording because I couldn't think of it before. But I got this. And I am so excited for this because it makes, and I mean, I get excited about stupid things, so don't mind me, but it makes spherical ice cubes. Or not cubes, I guess. Ice spheres, I guess is what it, it actually is called. And look how many there are in this tray. I am so, 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 so excited because I love like ice cold drinks. And these are so little. So, you get so many. I, like, I can't even, I don't even know. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 27, 33. So, yeah, and then all you do is you just put the water in here, and then you put the top on, and that traps it. So you don't have to worry about anything spilling. And then once it gets frozen, they make these cute little spheres. I'm so excited for this. Okay. So that's it for my AliExpress haul. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, I will link everything down below if it is still available. And as always, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and until next video, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.